past decade, many households in the region have started to get used to having three bins. One for general waste, one for green waste, and one for all other recyclable items. This so-called commingled material, which contains paper, cardboard, cans, plastic bottles and glass, goes to an MRF, a materials recovery facility, to be sorted into its constituent parts before being sent onward for recycling. I'm uh, Stephen Sharkey, I am the business manager of Veolia on Merseyside. This particular site, uh, Gilmoss MRF, receives deliveries from various district councils on Merseyside and it's the co-mingled curbside collection of recyclers such as paper, cards, cans, plastic bottles and glass. The plant behind us is a materials recovery facility, various sorts of devices, whether it's manual or, or mechanical. Uh, the plant operates between 8 and 10 o'clock at night. We handle about 55,000 tonnes a year at the moment. At the back end here is all the finished, saleable, recovered material. So we separate it out into two different grades of paper and two different grades of cans. So we receive five. Um, and we, we actually produce seven types of material ready for resale into the recycling markets. As councils, district councils, householders, everybody uh, needs to achieve recycling targets. You know, facilities like this are, are designed and built. Our recovery rate on this plant is 92 to 93%. As far as this is concerned, we've now got 55,000 tonnes of material that would have historically gone to the landfill. The Gilmoss Materials Recovery Facility uses state-of-the-art industrial processes to divide the contents of household recycling bins into a range of individual components, which can then be sent on for recycling. It's Lee McKay, I'm the Assistant Manager of the Mayor for here at Kilmos. On a day-to-day -day basis, the districts from around the build deliver in the material to our reception hall. The material is pushed into the inferior belt, goes up to a printer, a pre-sort, which then starts the process on the plant. In that first room, in the pre-sort room, the pickers that work in there will be taking non-conforming materials off which are no good to the process, which can damage the plant or they can't be recycled. From there, then it goes back into a single stream, which will pass through various screens throughout the plant, separating the materials. It will go through overband magnets, which will take steel out, your aluminium out through your eddy current separators. It will pass through new screens and V-screens, which separate by dimension and size. It will also pass through optical sorters. As they pass through this light beam, it sends a signal back up almost like a photograph and if it sees it that, and it's what you've got set in you don't want it will reject or it will, or it will keep it for you. So on your fibre line we have a OCC or corrugated cardboard, we have a news and pamphlets line, a mixed paper line. On our container lines we have aluminium, steel and plastic and then we also have a glass which is a single stream and then our residual. At this point then you are passing it through a post source which is a final polishing off the system with a number of uh, picking staff in there which is on your fibre line and your container line. They will pick off, clean it up to a standard that we want. It's then held in some holding bays before it's bailed out and from there then it's bailed out through two separate systems, one for the fibre line, one for the container line and from there then it's stacked, ready to go out. Nowadays, what we throw away at home can be gathered together and traded internationally as raw materials for industry. The Gilmoss Materials Recovery Facility is an important link in this chain. These facilities, MRFs, a lot of people mistake them for materials recycling facilities. We actually don't recycle anything on these plants. What we do is we recover materials, which I, I refer to them as a secondary product for onward recycling. So we will send all of our recovered materials onto secondary reprocessors, whether that's paper mills or glass manufacturers or, or, or whatever. They will then do their processes and then they will pour it into the supply chain. So 
Probably the best way I can sum her up is where you had cradle to the grave, so I go and get something out of the shop and I bin it. We're going cradle to cradle now, so we fit right in the middle. So I'll go and buy something, I'll use it, I'll dispose of it, we'll recover it. We send it back into a reprocessor and then it gets turned into something else. I mean, for example, the paper that we produce and send to a paper mill, you know, they'll turn that round and you could actually read in that piece of paper you threw away six days ago. Read at your breakfast table after your breakfast, it's, it's, it's another newspaper. Whereas historically with waste management, we sat right at the end, we were, we were the final disposal points, but now we create secondary raw materials for, for reuse and recycling. The Gilmoss Materials Recovery Facility is a multi-million pound investment in recovering recyclable materials from households via the bin collection service. Not only does this reduce the amount of waste going to landfill, but these recyclable materials have a value of their own. It's a joined up process because, you know, we can only recover what people put in their bins, recyclable. So the cleaner uh, people keep their bins or the more recyclable products they put in their bins, the more we can recover. So all I could say to the public is, um, don't think of it as anything that's plastic, for instance. Think of plastic bottle only, or any type of paper is great. Any type of can is fantastic. And if you can't recycle it through your, your bin coming into here, you know, we have 15 other facilities around Merseyside which are really easy to access. And they can take a, a wider range of recyclable products from your typewriter or your plastic bag to your green waste to your car, whatever it is. I think it's just about being more aware of what can go in your bin.